Now pay attention, W7. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second, always have an escape. holiday gift guide just can't do it by myself I know Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I'm super excited to join you guys today with this uh, really festive, as you can kind of tell, video about the holiday season and uh, another kind of annual video that I've been able to do in the past last year, if you want to check it out, uh, which a lot of the items are still available now. I did it with uh, Chris, the Bond Report. That was a lot of fun. Today, I have the honor of bringing one of my Bond besties, Jocelyn, and ladies who Bond for the 2023 007 gift guide. Hey, Jocelyn, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm super excited. It's been a while since we've been able to get together and do something like this. I am so excited to be here and to be able to kind of talk about my favorite time of the year and also talk about some 007 goodies. So uh, with no further ado, let's we'll have you go ahead and start off with your list. I'm excited to see what you got. All right. So item number one, I guess um, we're going to go with the Tomorrow Never Dies um, LSA Boris Vodka Shot Classes. Oh, um, yes. They're amazing, and you can still buy them. They still make them. Um, they were in the sea, the hotel scene where um, Bond is waiting for Paris to show up at the hotel. Right, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's pretty cool. I actually I actually got, got gifted them. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a live the, demonstration, the, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing <laughs> in there, I think. Yeah, so <laughs> you can see from like, yeah, the, the base is really heavy. Um, they're handmade. Um, and the glass is really nice. So, uh, they come in packs of two. So if you were to be movie accurate, you would have to buy like three packs of these. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the two is enough for me. Um, they're really nice, high quality, um, very durable. And uh, they run about $68 right now on Amazon for the pair. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a little pricey, but if you like to um, imbibe drinking, you know, vodka and have some caviar, like this is perfect. Yeah. Um, and it's it's screen accurate, too. It's one of those, well, it's screen accurate, I guess, not, not screen used, but screen accurate pieces that you can have in your collection. So uh, very cool, especially being from the film that was in, what, 97, right? Yeah, that they so, still make them. Right. It's a staple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. My number one, which they kind of just came onto the scene a few months ago. And I think the cool thing is it could go for a uh, guy or gal could sport these and it work out really well. Are the Honor Majesty Secret Service socks from the London Stock Exchange? Uh -huh. uh, you have, could see Bond's family crest, which I thought was really, really cool, and that really nice blue, and then uh, Blofeld's family crest, and then it comes with a few like uh, art pieces or like cards that talk about that, and I thought it's just a perfect gift for that Bond fan that, like, if you know, you know type of thing, um, and they just look great, and they kind of go with any outfit, they're fun, the, we, we've come to know the London Sock Exchange from their 60th anniversary collaboration, their just heritage line, um, and super, I mean, I have quite a fair a fair amount of pairs of those, and they're very comfortable, too. They work with dressing up or dressing down. I think, Jocelyn, you, do you have any pairs yeah. of those socks? I, I have a couple of pairs, and, and I'm in love with them. They're really well-made, and they're so yeah. soft. And, and they're just fun. They're just yeah. Fun. <laughs> yeah. So shall I move on to the next one? Number two. Yes. Number two. Okay, so this is for um anyone who's like really into making props and models and stuff like that. Um, it is the SD's the SD's bullpup. Oh, look uh, at that. LD rocket. Um, it is uh. Well, you can see all the pieces in the back here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they're so much better than me. I mean, you have all the like the physical pieces to show. I'm just gonna be throwing up pictures for people to see. <laughs> That's so cool. 
<laughs> that's from that's from uh what from was it from the world is not enough the world is not enough okay i was gonna yeah, say yeah those so are like they actually use these like this exact model this exact model that you can still buy today. oh wow um and For the side of the car right yeah on the sides of the the, the no um the kidding. bmw z8 and i guess i think there's a scene where they actually launch the rockets yeah and they're literally launching these little that's things. funny that's so, really cool um it's a level two beginner for anyone for who makes models i've never made a model i'm waiting for a rainy day to put this together um and uh, the pieces included are made out of plastic and if you want to buy a rocket launcher that goes with it you totally can um it has a parachute somewhere in here in the kit that when you launch the rocket it you nice. know parachutes and so, so what i'm hearing is once you put that together you're gonna strap it onto your your car so you can be mission ready right yeah absolutely <laughs> or <laughs> dealing with the california traffic as we all as we both know that can be a nightmare but <laughs> yeah just blow everybody up right um, <laughs> no that's so cool i mean again that's a unique one especially for the bond fans that you need to know if you know if you know like that's a very fun something that when you showed me that originally it's like i actually didn't even know that they made that and i didn't even know that story so that's pretty cool right and then mind you guys i will make sure all the links of everything we talk about will be in the description so you guys can check them out for yourselves grab yourself some bond goodies or you know surprise somebody so my number two i kind of really i was blown away by this year when it came to like the books within the bond community slash bond like, like official bond brands that release books like the destinations book by the i think asuline is that if you pronounce that right that book is absolutely gorgeous especially if you're super into like the coffee books no time to die the new no time to edition is the tashin book the really mm -hmm. thick book with the new no time to die uh kind of coloring that's an amazing book um and then also too the there's the guns of james bond that just came out this year and then recently that just dropped which is absolutely amazing and gorgeous as all mr jeff marshall's work is is his book that he did illustrations called the beauty of bond highlighting all the females and the bond girls the the companions the baddies everything um in there and i thought that was i had to add that into the list for sure because the artwork is just phenomenal what he does is he takes scenes and really kind of makes it like a realistic type of art. I mean, it's right up your alley, ladies who bond. I mean, what do you think about that book when it came out? Uh, when it, I thought it was, it was perfect. I mean, for him to do all of that artwork, it's a lot of artwork. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't, I don't have it in my library yet. So it's, it's on the list of things to get. Ladies who bond doesn't have the beauties of bond. What is it? What I is know. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing was I got to meet Jeff at gather all four and to be able to, to to meet him and shake his hand and really get to know a genuine bond community member who just again highlights his passion for bond with his love for artwork and it just it just is a perfect combination uh, i mean i know he also has like an, his own etsy art store or whatnot you can go check out as well um with some beautiful art prints uh but no the beauty of bond it's just amazing okay item number three the chemix coffee maker um, for nice. people who are into the novels, the Fleming novels, this actually is referenced in um, From Russia with Love. Um, it's This one is the three cup version um, and you need the paper filter that goes with it. But um, I like it because I don't drink coffee every day like some other folks here. <laughs> Probably um, I have the uh, eight cup version, but you know, anyways, continue. <laughs> you need at least two and i think i think the three cup is the smallest one mm -hmm. um, but it's it's a great gift for um people who like coffee and people who are into james bond um and um i don't know there's something a uh, very nice like very fun about just having a moment in your morning like doing the whole ritual like you right. know grinding your coffee beans and putting in the paper filter heating up the water and then just you know pouring it over so it makes really good coffee and um for somebody who doesn't drink coffee every day like this is this is perfect great it, I, I love it I use it all the time like having my bond moment in the morning without mm -hmm. really it being like 
this is James Bond. <laughs> right, exactly. So my number three has nothing to do with food or beverage. It actually, it's something that I've dabbled into a little bit this year. I've actually have two out of the six uh, bonds um, thus far. Uh, and that is, I know, maybe a little expensive on the expensive side, but I think it's just something really cool and unique. And that is um, an autograph, a sign autographed from one of the James Bonds. Uh, you can find them on some really cool reputable sites um, or on eBay, you know, just making sure that it, they're authenticated. Um, and there's many ways to figure out if it's authentic authenticated or not um but i will definitely leave some of the best websites that i have gone to or i have checked uh in the description below so if you guys are interested in trying to find your guys yourself an autograph uh photo of a bond or maybe a bond girl or a villain whatever check it out and i was inspired because when i was in vegas this last this past year um traveling bond trent you know jocelyn know him. we all know him love them uh we were walking through i think the caesar palace the uh the shops the shops at caesar's and there was actually a autograph like nothing but auto like sports autographs uh celebrity autographs uh boutique there and in the window there was literally a i don't know it was a huge frame of all six bonds that were all uh authentic autographs so everything was you know, at one point, every single bond signed it at a different point. The only autograph that uh, was actually on the picture is Daniel Craig's because he was one of the most recent. But that kind of inspired me to go look and see if I could find different bonds and maybe, you know, slowly get all six. Um, but it's just something cool and unique to have uh, and to have a piece of literally an actor that's played James Bond in your collection. It adds that it adds that really cool bit to your collection so if you could find an autograph of any bond villain or um bond girl whatever i said go for it do you know if george lazenby is still um signing them like i you know he, i know he stopped personalizing them about maybe the mm -hmm. beginning of the year the last bit of the orders were i think the beginning of the year you could still definitely go on his website which i can link down below as well um to pick up some really cool pictures and all of those, obviously, anything you get from the George Lazenby, George Lazenby website, they're all authentic um, autographs from the man himself. Some really cool pictures of of him as Bond. Um, so, and it even has the little georgelazenby.com logo in the end, so on the bottom. So it's super cool. But you can get them framed, you can get them on frame, whatever. Um, but no, it's, yeah, that's a really cool website, too, if you want to get a George Lazenby print or um, autograph. But I think he stopped a while back just because due to some due to health and it started to get quite a bit i think he was kind of getting backlogged and such so but yeah that was my number three it, it's nice when you can get autograph prints or like getting real autographs i i got one from Susie vanner from oh Ohio. that's right yeah. yeah yeah so i have a kind of um i have a whole like a random of <laughs> right it's just cool it's just cool that they're like oh they wrote this and you know yeah. it's, it's just kind of yeah, cool exactly Four. okay oh one, which i oh oh ring light um <laughs> which i think almost everyone probably has it but if you don't you you need to own this um it is the world of james bond um thousand piece uh, jigsaw puzzle um illustrated by Lawrence King. Um, the finished size of this is 27 by 19, um, and it's huge. It, it's really cool. Uh, all the pieces are different. Um, and the cool thing that not only that comes inside the box is actually this huge poster. I haven't put the puzzle together yet because I've been too busy. Look. Oh, yes. So it comes with this gorgeous poster of the That's finished really cool. product. Um, and so that is like way more helpful than the box itself because it has all the different stuff. Um, but the other cool part is that on the reverse side, it has all of these numbers. I don't know if you can, can you see them. Oh, yeah. So it has all of these numbers and then, oh, <laughs> and then it has a bunch of text that goes with it. 
um, and describes all of the different things that are in the art. Very cool. So, uh, I am a sucker for puzzles, so, and thankfully, uh, James, like the 007 site, like keeps making them. So yeah, I was gonna say there's can... quite a few options out there too. Uh, that, yeah. uh, my opinion, I think that one's the most beautiful out of the other options that are out there. But there are quite a few, and like you, I, I, I love puzzles, and I think finally getting to the end is such a great feeling <laughs> after spending days to maybe months completing it but it's like one of those things that it's kind of like an old-fashioned type of thing that not a lot of people do anymore to just sit down and work on a puzzle um like that's anybody can do it which is really cool and this is pretty affordable for the quality of the puzzle itself um you can get this for like 22 dollars on the 007 site oh wow so it's 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 pretty reasonable um and it's really nice and well done so highly recommend it <laughs> very cool sweet okay so now um my number four um okay. i had to highlight some community members here i know i kind of dabbled about in a little bit talking about uh, mr jeff marshall's artwork but i'm going back kind of backtrack into that if you can go out and support of all the amazing individuals artwork by surprising a friend or grabbing a print for yourself there are numerous accounts on instagram and um youtube and whatnot that have done amazing amazing original james bond artworks just to highlight a couple billy's bond art amazing stuff he has a calendar he has a few other things out that he has uh, even a book that he put together um Lobel Studio does some really cool stuff, uh, as well as, of course, Sean Longmore. There's tons of other Bond. It's like one of those things. Once you get one, a lot, a lot of the other ones start popping up, and you get start to get a collection of all these James Bond artworks. But it's cool because you're supporting the community. So my number four is just grabbing a James Bond community or a Bond community art original art piece. Uh, my favorite, which has a special connection uh, to the London trip that you and I got to go on, Jocelyn, it was is um, uh, Billy Bond's art, M's scene. He has his own interpretation of the scene where we see M sitting at table number nine, which Jocelyn and I had the amazing opportunity for my first time, mind you, going to rules, sitting at the actual M's table. So that's one of my favorite pieces. And Billy does an amazing job capturing that scene. And I even believe we got to see his print their actual actually at rules that they have with frames so i thought that was pretty neat they took pictures with it yes we took <laughs> pictures yeah. so i guess my last one i'm gonna kind of follow your tail coats on that um i've come across this one movie poster company on itsy um called the movie maniacs design um and they do a whole bunch of posters from uh, various movies and Doctor Who and a couple of other things but they have a couple that are are Bond related that I am in love with that are completely different from what most of the Bond community has been doing um one of them is the recreation of the La American or La American from Spectre so there's a scene where they go to La American and there's like a big um old school art deco style poster and they basically have recreated that Oh, um, nice. so you can order you can order that in various sizes um and uh which i thought is really cool because it doesn't it does not scream james bond it's very i don't know something like you would see like 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 one of those le chat noir you know posters like that oh, kind yes, of style. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, cool. they have uh, a couple of other posters there's a, a diamonds are forever um inspired uh original piece that they did that says mm -hmm. like a Willard White at the White House and it has a showgirl on it and stuff like that. So oh, they have cool. a couple of yeah, they have a couple of originals. Um so we come to the end. My final pick is um gonna be more on the tutorial side. And I had to give some love to well, Mr. Daniel Love of Royale Filmware. I just acquired actually recently the cardigan from Quantum of Solace and everything that you've heard about his work at Royale Filmware is 100% accurate. 
it is really, really cool. And he works with you on sizing, makes it super easy and it's super affordable for those who are looking for the Bond look, but can't find the actual original piece or the original piece is pretty dang, some of them are pretty dang expensive. So it kind of falls within the lines of the thrifting for Bond, which I've done in the past. So it all kind of comes full circle. So Oriel Filmware, um, I'll again, leave a link in the description, but any piece from there, and he's coming out with some new stuff too. So supporting somebody in the Bond community that just found a passion for creating their own thing and giving it out to the community. So that wraps it up for our 2023 holiday gift guide. I hope you guys enjoyed our picks. As you can kind of tell, it's very community oriented, but that's kind of what we do here in the Bond community. And there's a lot of really cool stuff out there too to choose from. So Jocelyn, thanks for joining me on this one. Um, so glad we, we were able to get together again. I know. Thank you for having me. It's It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's always, always a great time with you. And I hope you, Jocelyn, have a great holiday and everybody watching have a great and safe holiday and a happy new year. Thanks for hanging out with us. And I hope these picks inspire you to go out and get some of the goodies for yourself. Until then, I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy. See you later.